The term lopsided is often used to describe presidential elections where the margin of victory for the winning candidate was significant. Here are our top 10 most lopsided presidential elections in terms of popular vote and electoral college margin. Coming in first, George Washington in 1789 and 1792. Both of George Washington's presidential elections were unanimous, with him receiving all the electoral votes. If not for George's humility and unwillingness to become a monarch, he likely would have kept winning. In second place, we look to Abraham Lincoln in 1864. Lincoln won over George McClellan during the heat of the Civil War by a wide margin of 35.5% in the popular vote, and officially a 212 to 22 margin in the electoral vote with 19 electoral votes invalidated. At number three, Franklin Delano Roosevelt won three elections in landslides in 1936, 1940, and 1944. The most lopsided was in 1936 when he defeated Alf Landon by 24.3% in the popular vote and a 523 to 8 trouncing in the electoral vote. Coming in fourth, Richard Nixon in 1972. Nixon won in a landslide over George McGovern with a popular vote margin of 23.2% and an electoral vote margin of 520 to 17. At number five is the second most recent president in our list, Ronald Reagan. In 1984, Reagan's re-election against Walter Mondale was extremely lopsided for the modern era, with a popular vote margin of 18.2% and an electoral vote differential of 525 to 13. Sixth, we have Lyndon Johnson in 1964. Johnson defeated Barry Goldwater with a popular vote margin of 22.6% and an electoral college difference of 486 to 52. Coming in seventh, Dwight D. Eisenhower in 1956. Eisenhower was victorious over Adlai Stevenson after receiving a popular vote advantage of 15.4% and an electoral college result of 457 to 73. Eighth in our list is Warren G. Harding in 1920. Harding's lopsided election over James Cox saw him earn a popular vote advantage of 26.2%, matched by an electoral vote of 404 to 127. At number nine, Thomas Jefferson's re-election in 1804 against Charles Pinckney was certainly lopsided. Jefferson received 45.6% more of the popular vote than his opponent. The electoral vote, with far fewer delegates in that era, was 162 to 14. Who, last on our list of the top 10 most lopsided presidential victories in history, happens to also be the most recent president on our list. In 1996, Bill Clinton's re-election victory over Bob Dole was not too shabby. Although not nearly the landslide seen by some of our previous presidents, Bill won with a popular vote margin of 8.5% and an electoral vote difference of 379 to 159. Well, there you have it. The top 10 elections characterized by overwhelming victories for the winning candidate, demonstrating significant support from the electorate. Will we ever see the electorate in America vote with such unanimity again soon? We here at Just In Time Top 10 sure hope so. Until then, please remember to like, subscribe, and share this top 10 with your history-loving and political junkie friends. We're sure they'll thank you.